which are the best Bluetooth keyboards for tablets? I tried lots of different ones in the last 10 years and most generic ones are not that great, especially the cheaper ones are often a bit disappointing, but there are some that I can highly recommend. Well, I'm NJ for MyNextTablet.com and these are the best Bluetooth keyboards for tablets. <laughs> Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, I'm reviewing pretty much every tablet that gets released. Let's start with the Logitech K380. I think it is the best Bluetooth keyboard if you're looking for one that's somewhat affordable and should sit on your desk. It's a normal size one and I've been able to touch type with it immediately. Yes, without having to get used to it first. The keys offer a good travel. You can connect it to devices running Windows, Android, iPadOS and macOS. A very useful feature is that you can save up to three devices at once. That way you can switch fast between your Windows PC, iPad and your Android phone. That's what I'm doing often. It's powered by batteries which last very long. The Logitech K380 costs around $30 and I think that's a great value. I'm not the only one with this opinion. In fact, this keyboard is highly recommended from sites like the Wirecutter from the New York Times too. If you prefer a keyboard with a built-in stand feature, you can check out the Logitech K480. The keyboards are very similar, but the K480 has a slot that can hold up your tablet. I think the Logitech keys to go is the best travel keyboard for tablets right now. It's very small, thin and light and is great for traveling. The keyboard is similar in size to the official ones of a typical 10 inch tablet. Still, I think the layout is good and I've been able to type comfortably with it quite fast. But it certainly is smaller than your standard keyboard and the keys have a shorter travel, much shorter. But it's a good compromise of comfort and mobility. As I said, the Logitech keys to go is very thin and light. It's made of a plastic and a plastic tablet stand is included too. You can attach it to the keyboard. The battery needs to be charged with a micro USB cable. Not often, but if you're traveling for several days, I would just take a charger with me just in case. The keyboard works with Android, iPadOS and with Windows. You can get different versions with special keys for Android and iOS, but don't worry too much about that because both can be used with the other operating system anyways. Usually you will have to pay between 50 and 70 dollars depending on the country. For a very long time, I thought the best travel keyboard for tablets is the Microsoft Universal Mobile Keyboard and I still think that. I've been using it for over two years and I'm often asked what this keyboard is because it's often seen in my videos. But sadly, Microsoft does not make it anymore and in most stores and most countries it's either sold out or much, much pricier than it used to be. So I can highly recommend it if you can still find it. But otherwise, you will have to stick with the Logitech because Microsoft didn't make a successor yet. I think the value of the Logitech K380 and the keys to go is fantastic. But if you're willing to spend a bit more money, you could check out the Logitech K780. Usually it costs around $70. While the K780 is made of plastic too, it does feel quite a bit higher end. It's much heavier and has a built-in slot to hold small and also big tablets up to a 12.9 inch iPad Pro. You can save up to three devices here as well and they can run Windows, macOS, Android or iPadOS. It's quite a big keyboard which means it's more suited for your desk and it's certainly not a great keyboard to travel with. So it's a great choice if you're looking for a normal desktop class keyboard that's a bit higher end, supports Bluetooth and features a numbers block. I was able to type with it super smoothly and fast. It's powered by removable batteries. I'm ending this list with the foldable Jellycomp Bluetooth keyboard that costs around $27. The typing experience is not as good as the ones from Logitech, Microsoft and so on and it feels much cheaper too. I can't recommend this one if you often need a Bluetooth keyboard. Instead, I think the Jellycomp can be an interesting choice if you need a keyboard on a few occasions only. Not at home, but while on the go. Folded up, the keyboard is very small and does not need much space. Folded out, it's almost as big as a standard keyboard, but you've got to get used to the fold first. This keyboard has been useful for me when I've been reviewing 8 inch tablets. I just threw it into my backpack and it was quite useful when I've had to answer a longer email or so. It fits in many jacket pockets too. So to sum up, the Jellycom foldable Bluetooth keyboard is not an amazing recommendation, not at all. But it can be useful for some occasions. 
All right, these are the Bluetooth keyboards that I can recommend for tablets right now. If you have any questions and especially if there's a Bluetooth keyboard that you can recommend, then write us in the comments. I'm sure everybody looking for a good Bluetooth keyboard will be interested in that. I'm NJ from MyNextTablet.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Wow, 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 wow.